the Echo Slam. Oh, there it is. Forward. There's your slam. There's the dunk. Hello, Gamer Nom is back. So for today's King's Legacy video, I've seen lots of requests. Gamer Nom, do a noob to a Venom Fruit Awakening video. And for those who requested it, guys, hear this. Let's do this. Let's grind this noob one up and grind the gems. Gamer Nom, is this an easy job? No. This is kind of hard, but guys, we were able to do it. So let's start. First, let's focus on grinding levels. Again, from level 1 to 10 or 11, use the snake quest. So you need to find 3 fried chickens. Again, my favorite food. Where are it? Where is it located? There you go. First stop is in the terrace. So just in the front of the building where the snake is located. Next up, the block market tower. And last one is the spawn point. So if you do this, do server hop just to uh, make it faster. Okay, so after doing it for like three or four times, you will reach level 11. After that, you can now start defeating the Clown Pirates. Yes, Clown Pirates, two ways to do it. Use your first skill on each and every one and, and defeat it or lure it. Lure the enemies, okay? You know, is this hard? Compared to the Legendary Fruits, it is harder. It is harder to level up this fruit because again, those are Legendary Fruits, right? Let's not compare them. Okay. So once you reach level 13, everything will be faster. Okay, why? Because at level 13, if you put all your stats on the power fruit, you will unlock the next skill, which is the Hydra. There you go. So everything will be faster from here. One hit, you can defeat them. If not, use your shot skill. Okay? So do this until you reach level 20. Okay. Again, after reaching level 20, you can start defeating Smokey now. There you go. Guys, you cannot defeat this fast. You need two sets of Shot and Hydra to defeat this. But you can do it by dodging, okay? Don't forget the dodge Q skill. There you go. So when you reach level 25, you can now unlock the third skill. The Triple Hydra. Guys, this is fast, right? Just like the Phoenix Fruit. Now you can one-hit Smokey and do this until you reach level 30. Upon reaching level 30, now you can start Tashi Quests. So, you can defeat Tashi Quests by just using your ZXC skill, Shot, Hydra, and Triple Hydra. You just need to master how to dodge the attack of Tashi. There you go, that, the slash. Just dodge sideways and you're good. So, do this until you reach level 50. And after reaching level 50, off you go to the next island, which is the Pirate Island. Oops, sorry for hitting you, bro. Okay, so now here in the Pirate Island, make sure to save in the spawn point. And now, time to defeat, again, the Clown Pirates. So how do you lure them? Use your first and second skill to lure it to the nearest one or to the one that you haven't hit yet. There you go. And use your third skill to one-hit them all. So you need to defeat five. To finish the quest, there you go, and do this until you reach level 75. And once you reach level 75, defeat the clown. Guys, you can defeat this with one combo. Z, X, and C skill is enough to defeat this. Now the question, when will we level up here? Guys, until you reach 125. Why? Because, again, I will show it to you. Oh, by the way, by this time, okay, you will be having 500 stats on, de on your devil fruit and you can unlock the demon transformation there you go guys it's okay to reach 125 here check the experience okay now off to the soldier island don't forget to spawn and get this one the soru a blink this will be helpful there you go okay so now guys we will start here okay defeating the captain we will skip the first quest in this island, defeating the commanders. Why? Because, check that out. These mobs are scattered far away, not compared to the phoenix fruit that you can fly fast. These guys, you need to walk or run. And that is very hard. So I suggest you focus on the captain until you reach level 145. There you go. So after reaching that level, 
time to start defeating this boss. Okay, and this boss is the axe hand guy. There you go. Always turn on your Venom transformation. Uh, your Demon transformation because there's a high chance that you will get damaged by this boss. Because the attack of this boss is area of effect. So after reaching level 200, go to the Shark Island. Game or no, level 200, we're gonna skip another quest again. Yes, guys, we're gonna do that. Focus on defeating the Karate Fishman until you reach 230. So guys, we are skipping some quests because, again, the mobility of this Devil Fruit is not good. Okay? So once you reach level 30, again, leveling up will be faster. Go start defeating this one. The Shark Man. There's a chance that you will get uh, a blade here, like in Tashi. But yeah, you will get this. I'm kind of sure of that. Because we will stay here until we reach 300 plus. But Gamer Nog, the quest experience that you will get will be lower. No, guys, check this out. Experience 3.25k, right? But if you defeat this, check that out. In the quest, 32k you will still get 32k guys no problem with that it will only take effect when your level is more than 200 in the quest okay next up let's go to barty the fish island is this fish island the chef island there you go start defeating the weapon man okay do this until you reach 450 and we're off to the snow island why again 450 gamer knob Again, I want you to go directly to the King of Snow. There you go. Guys, if you notice, we're focusing on the enemies that will require you to defeat only one. Right? One boss or one mob. Because again, this fruit is not for uh, mo uh, many enemy. Uh, I mean, lots of mobs. Not for a group. Single target before you even awaken this. But... We're talking about Venom Fruit Awakened. Guys, that's a different story. Okay. Next up, we reach 625. Go to the Sky Island. I think your money is enough to buy the Observation Hockey. So this allows you to dodge 8 uh, attacks. Next up, Desert Island. Guys, we will not be defeating the Candleman here because uh, with the range that you have, you will be uh, damaged surely by the Candleman. So we want to avoid that. We'll go straight here to the bomb man. Check that out. We defeated it. And no damage. We will be skipping this quest. The Sand King or whatever name it is. Because aside from it will really damage you guys. You need to run to get the quest. So we don't like that. Again, the mobility of this fruit is kind of bad. It sucks. The mobility of this. But the damage is quite good. So again guys, we will do this until we reach... 800 don't worry about the quests again see that you will still be getting 89,000 experience so now back to the sky island level 800 quest guys it's good here it's fine uh you can lure this and kill this for uh qu mob quest yes it's very easy if you notice i don't like this kind of quests aside from this one because it's very easy to defeat next up go to the ball man quest Guys, we will stay here until we reach, I think, 1,000. But gamer no, there is the Rumble Man just beside you. Guys, it's very hard. Check this out. The moment you attack him, he will attack you back. You're lucky if not, he's not gonna use the other skills. This one. Check that damage, guys. You don't want to go back to the spawn point. So, pick this boss or this mob, the Ball Man. And after you kill this, it will spawn quickly compared to the Rumble Man, guys. Rumble Man will spawn like 3 or 4 or 5 seconds after you defeat it. Okay? So after reaching 1051, sorry. 1051, go to the Bubble Island and defeat these mobs until you reach 1100. How do you do that? Use the Demon Form, lure them. There you go. And use the Sea Skill. Okay? One more to finish a quest. There you go. And again, 1100. Start defeating the leader. Okay, so after that guys, reach 1,150, time to defeat the Pacifista. Guys, this is a good quest again, because after you defeat this, it will spawn quickly. Like after you get the quest, it's already there. Check that out. Okay, so again, we will maximize this opportunity 
and we will do this until we reach 1351 okay because in 1351 you will only get 16,000 exp that's that's the maximum so next up do the wolf quest and the giraffe quest simultaneously until you reach 1400 why gamer no because they spawn like uh spawn time of these bosses are long okay so once you reach 1400 this is your last mob to defeat the leopard robuchi if you're watching the anime there you go do this until you reach 1500 and we are done with the leveling up quests and now time to head to the second sea again how do you go there go to the war island the tower at the back you will see a guy and you need to talk to it twice until he's, he gives you the quest right and he tells you that it is located uh, i mean the island of a mermaid man so here you go go to the fishman island and defeat this dude here there you go. There you go. The season, the fishman fighter. And until you get the map. There you go, that's the map. Make sure to save here. You might get defeated because it's not easy to defeat it. And give it back to the traveler in the wireland and go to the starting island. Talk to the elite fighter and you're in the second sea. Guys, the moment that I get to the second sea. I tried a raid and I luckily, luckily guys, I got the triple authentic katana. Guys, you cannot buy it with gem from what I know. So I really just got lucky. So after that, we are gonna locate the awakening dude, <laughs> awakening guy. So here is the location. Guys, use a boat. It's very hard to use the land. So many bullies out here. There you go. Regions Island. There you go. And guys, by the way, another requirement, you need another physical fruit, venom fruit, okay? There you go. We have it here now. Talk to this awake master. Alright. So guys, you need to fight a boss. A boss that has 1 million HP and has the awakened venom fruit. So it's kind of hard. Just do your best, guys. <laughs> If you can, just level up more. I don't know. But we were able to defeat it. 1,500 HP. If you want me to post the video of it, comment it on the comment section. Well, now guys, you've defeated it. Here comes the next problem. We need gems. So again, you need 230 gems to unlock this all. So what do we do? Guys, again, we got the triple authentic katana, right? So use the uh, code 250 likes to reset all your stats and put it on sword. Okay, there you go. So at first, guys, I wanted to like uh, grind 255 gems so we can just reset it again. But it's kind of long, guys. I'm taking a long time finishing uh, the gem quests, the grind gems. So I just decided to level this up. Okay, so this is the way to get the gems. So after grinding gems, finally, see that you have 234 gems. You can buy all of the skills. Then here goes the next problem. We need a minimum of 700 demon fruit stats to use them all. So I decided to level up this character again for the last time. But I'm gonna show you the four, first four sta uh, skills first. You know, there's our friend Joy Boy. Here's the first skill, the shot. Now it's a lot better. This is the Hydra now. Seven heads, I think seven or eight heads of Hydra. And the triple hydra is uh, like the second skill of the gum fruit now. This is the uh, range. And there you go, demon skill is not changed. So now, guys, I've leveled it up. I went back to first C and defeated this dude, the shadow master, until I think I reach like, yeah, 689 or something like that. Okay, until we get 700 power fruit and there you go, we were able to unlock the last two skills, the demon floor and the basilisk. So the demon floor I think is very good for AOE or even in PvP. So there you go, next up is the basilisk. So this uh, poop looking like hmm, snake will attack everyone around it as long as it is within range. You can summon at least two at a time, just make sure to summon it. Uh, the moment that it cooldowns so there you go guys demon floor and again the basilisk did i say demon fruit demon floor guys Whew. 
So guys, it really is kind of hard, but really it is doable. So there you go. Again, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Again, to all the viewers, subscribers, supporters, I appreciate you all. Thanks for all the support. This is GamerNom, and GamerNom out.